Today we're at a sewer pond. I travel around with jars like this to show what lives in natural water. But in this case, man-made water, if you know what I mean. This is what I use for a lot of my projects. It is a full gallon glass jar. You won't believe what lives in the sewer. Look at this. These are sewer ponds. Sewage from the neighborhoods behind me flows into these ponds where it sits and decomposes until it is safe to discharge into local streams and rivers. You may have asked yourself, what lives in my sewer water? Hopefully something. It's actually a good thing to find life in sewer ponds. There's probably fish living in there as well, but I will not be getting out my fishing pole. By the way, do not do what I'm about to show. I have permission to do this and to show what lives inside of these ponds, but just by going and doing this, it is very dangerous and you can get into some serious trouble. We'll start by collecting sediment from the pond with my trusty sand castle shovel. Worms and other small living creatures like to bury a few inches in the dirt. Hopefully we've caught some of them. I want to say a special thanks to the sewer operators who taught me about the sewers and let me do this for you guys. Half of the pond is covered in a small floating plant called water meal. It also looks like there's some duckweed in there as well. We'll scoop some of that and add it to the jar. With all that added, we'll seal up the jar and I'll try not to get any on my hands. I really should have brought gloves. I also have to figure out a way to get this back to the house without getting the car nasty. It's hard to imagine what the contents of our jar really is. Someone's flushed toilet or hands washed in the sink. The water has to go somewhere. This time it's into our jar here. It sure does look gross. As time goes on, more and more life rears its head inside of our jar. There are tons of red leeches. I have to say, they are quite freaky to watch. Let me know in the comments if you've ever come across a leech while swimming. And they aren't the only thing in the jar. There's also pond snails and amphipods swimming around. Here on Jar Planet, I make a lot of self-sustaining ecosystems sealed inside of jars like this one. However, this sewer in the jar will not last long term. These leeches will eventually need to be fed. Also, the thick layer of floating plants makes it difficult for oxygen to exchange with the water. Basically, it will only last a few weeks until it all crashes. But in the meantime, it's very fun to watch and you can learn a lot. These bug looking things are called amphipods and they are super fun to watch. They spend their time buried in the layer of water meal at the top of the jar. If you look closely, you can see them holding and eating some of the water meal. Looking back at the sewer ponds, you can see them hanging out around the top of the floating plants, looking for their next meal. I have to say, this is by far the dirtiest video I've ever made. These amphipods only come out of hiding when the jar is disturbed. Look at them all. They spend all day lounging around and they look pretty darn comfortable. Up close on the leeches, you can see its heartbeat and blood flowing back and forth throughout its whole body. If you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're a very small channel and every subscriber helps and we appreciate you. I always find it remarkable to see what can live all around us without us ever knowing it was there. I also hope that you're convinced never to go swimming at your local sewer system. There's truly no telling what could be living beneath the surface. If you enjoyed this video, I know you'll like this one next.